Hi everyone and welcome to Julie's Oasis. Today I'm gonna do a card uh, quickly with you from scratch. So I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna look like. We'll just discover it together. So I'm gonna use my very vanilla cardstock, Cajun Craze cardstock. Again, my uh, vanilla card base, and which is half a sheet. And then um, this uh, lovely one and a quarter inch um, striped um, Cajun Craze um, ribbon as well. As the gently falling stamp set, I have mine in clear, and the um, this one I think is one of my new favorites. Um, perfectly penned, simply because the sayings are so fun to use, and you can adapt them to anything. As well as the Cajun Craze ink, and I also pulled out the more mustard one. So what I'll do is I'll just start by putting a sentiment at the bottom here. As you can see, you cannot see. <laughs> um, then I'm going to do using the rock and roll technique. I'm going to do mustard with my leaf. I'm going to need this to stamp on afterwards. And then craze color just a bit. I think I might have messed it up, but that's okay. Then I'll stamp once. And again, yeah, looks good. Okay, so I'll go to the big shot and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So it's a bit crooked. So what I did is I just stuck the top portion of it into um, the um, this lovely embossing folder. I do apologize. I cannot remember the name, but I will put in on the video the name of it as well as the item number. And then I ran it to the Big Shot. And then what we'll do is I'm just going to move the ink away before I actually stick my fingers in there. And we will um, adhere this layer onto the Cajun Craze one. This is double sided tape, it's just quicker for me right now because I have no idea what my snail adhesive went so this will have to do. And then I'm gonna put a bit of adhesive in the back here so that I can actually try to, hmm, yeah it's gonna work. Wrap one end here at the back and then I'll do the same on the other side but not too tightly because I'm gonna grab this twine here, linen tread, sorry, and just do it underneath here. And if I do a knot here, push it up. It clears, yep, looks okay. And then I'll just trim the excess off. It's a bit snug, so because I can actually make it, I'll move it down a bit so that it hides the knot, actually lines up with the edge of the embossing. And then I can always squish it up just a bit. Can you hear my dogs? They're playing a bit rough, I think, but we still love them. If you keep it up, you'll hear me speaking French really, really soon. But that being said, I'm gonna have to edit the video and cut it off because I think it should probably be censored. And then, card front, card base. Voila! So I think I'm gonna use this one as a men's card as well. And the other thing we could probably do is stamping on a piece of um, scrap paper, the leaf here, again, using the rock and roll technique, which is what I'm gonna do. So I have a scrap piece of paper here. I need to find my inks. And then we'll just Stamping, stamp it, stamp it here, like so. And then I will cut it off or out. And then once it's cut out, 
I will use a one or two dimensionals. Mm. Just one here. Then a little bit of static. I'll just here, here, like so, here. There. Now I can say that I think I'm done. Um I hope you liked it. I'll see you again soon.